Rumble is a really, really special place. There's really like no other place in the world like this. And the fact that we are just able to teach in this environment is crazy. You're at the base of a, a ginormous mountain and you're surrounded by aspen trees. You're hearing it and you're seeing it and you're smelling it and you're completely immersed in nature. Yeah, it's just seriously. like so special. It's such a treat to have them up here. We need lunch boxes, we need water bottles, we need rain jackets. Brumble is a one of a kind field station that does climate science research, animal research. RMBL is a great place to be both a scientist and a parent because it is really possible to bring your family to the field with you. <laughs> Gus and Hank are four and seven. Wait, is it bud play? Gus has been coming out since he was three months old. And right now my kids are in nature camp. Do you guys remember what we were looking for when we were looking for mammals? What, what evidence we Shout were looking it out. for? Scat. 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 Footprints. 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 What else? Bomb. 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 They can both go and learn about the bugs and the bees while I'm out doing observations. Cute. Awesome. Woo. Are we ready to adventure, homies? Are we yeah. ready? Yeah. Homies, Nature camp is one of our staples in Gothic. We started years ago for those youngest kids that are here living in Gothic for the summer. We don't want to touch thistle because it hurts. It's really spiky, okay? Cool. Okay. There are a couple different camps that kids of different ages can go to. The youngest level is nature camp, and that's for kids who are about to enter kindergarten up through second grade. Okay, guys, is everyone ready? Yeah. For a little bit of a lesson. Predators are omnivores and carnivores. What do we think that means? We talked about it yesterday. If you look at the marmot's eyes, where are their eyes located? Side. They're on the side of their heads. And what about this? They're on the Whoa. front of their head, right? Older kids go to science camp. You're all gonna get to look at your rocks under the microscope. And I want you to write the next thing that you can see with the microscope that you weren't able to see with just your regular eyes. Does that make sense? Science camp is for our rising third through fifth graders. During science camp, the kids dive a little bit deeper in the process of science and research. Awesome. That looks pretty cool, right? <laughs> the science campers did a bit of a lab where they got to look at their rocks under microscopes. That's so cool. That's so amazing. Cool. So are you guys like noticing things that you can see that you weren't able to see with your bare eyes? Yeah. Yeah. If we see all the color in splotches, but mm -hmm. we don't see the tiny little specks of color. Yeah. We had these really awesome opportunities to connect the scientists to the students and the students to the scientists. Right. Our marmot scientist here taught the children about her process and why she's studying the marmots. They eat a lot every day. They eat at least as much as they weigh. So imagine me eating as much food as I am tall. That's a lot of food. Then I want to be a marmot scientist. Then you're welcome to join us. I think kids start out excited by science. Why don't you come on this side? Go ahead and pull through. Three, two, one. If you take a toddler on a nature walk in your neighborhood, they're gonna stop for every stick, every ant, every leaf. And as adults, we get impatient. Big log. Not discouraging that natural curiosity leads to more adults who are still interested in what's around them. There's not a lot of kids who get this opportunity to be up in okay. nature like we do. Gus. I think it's just so important that kids like actually get out and draw plants, see deer in real life, and just learn about nature all around. And Finn earlier was like, nature is life. And I just like, <laughs> that's so, nature is life. Nature and in here life. you're like full of it. You're full of life when you're here. <laughs>